Hey, welcome to the studio. My name is Dean, and today I'm gonna to be testing a $40 USB condenser microphone. And this Amazon bestseller is called the Toner TC777, and it's meant to be this all-in-one package. You get a microphone, it's USB powered, so it doesn't require any extra gear. It also comes with a little desktop stand and even a windscreen for taming some of the harsh siblings in your voice, like the T's and P's and S's. And I'm gonna be testing this $40 microphone in two different, very common, common scenarios. One is as a talking microphone for voiceovers, gaming, podcasting, all of that. And the second scenario, we'll be bringing it into a music project, see if we can sing over it, process it, and if it could be used as a performance microphone. So without further ado, let's jump into test number one, and that is going to be its voiceover capability. What I've done to run this test is pre-recorded myself talking, and I'm gonna use the exact same signal, one on a dry track, meaning no processing, it's just the raw sound from the microphone. And then after that, I'm gonna take that same vocal take and give it some basic processing, just like I normally would if I was doing a voiceover for a video. So first, here's the raw recording of me talking using the Toner TC777. This is a test of the Toner TC777 model. I'm about one to two inches from the microphone itself, which is where I would recommend that you stay if you're gonna be talking, say in a voiceover, in a podcast. You can tell if I get too far away, I think it gets a little bit outside of the strength you lose a bit of the body of your vocal. But then again, if you get too close, I feel like it gets a little bit too boomy on the low end. So here at about one to two inches, I would say that's the sweet spot for talking. And so I'll give you a test run between the dry vocal and the processed vocal. So now I'm gonna take that same dry vocal and I'm gonna do a bit of processing so you can get an idea of what it might sound like as a finished polished product. This is a test of the Toner TC777 model. I'm about one to two inches from the microphone itself, which is where I would recommend that you stay if you're gonna be talking, say in a voiceover, in a podcast. All right, so what did you think about the polished talking vocal? I'm gonna hold my thoughts until the end of this video when I wrap everything up, but let me know in the comments what you thought about the talking processed vocal. So next up, it's time to find out if this thing can perform as a singing microphone. So what I've done is I have again created two different tracks and one this time is actually going to be a processed singing vocal. It's going to be the Toner TC777 and then I sang another take into my studio condenser mic and we're going to compare the two back and forth. $40 mic, yeah. Yeah. Sounded pretty nice, yeah. $40 mic, yeah. It sounded pretty nice, yeah. All right, before I give my thoughts, you used your ear. What did you think it sounded like? I'm gonna play it one more time. Here's the $40 toner microphone. $40 mic, yeah. Yeah. Sounded pretty nice, yeah. All right, now that we've done some comparisons, I wanna share some of my thoughts on the Toner TC777. And we'll start with the talking voice, with the podcasting or the voiceover style use of this microphone. In its dry state, I'm not that sold on it, but I never leave a vocal dry anyway, so when it's processed, I think it sounds quite solid. And then from a singing side, I just have to say I'm not a huge fan of the tone, of the clarity or brightness that it gives. When you heard me test it up against my studio condenser, there was just a massive difference. Now I will say there is a huge price difference as well, as the toner obviously is $40, it plugs in USB so you don't need extra gear, whereas my condenser mic setup that I like to recommend is a minimum of about $250. So here's how I'll wrap this whole thing up. I would say the toner's greatest strengths are in the areas of being a talking vocal when it is processed. If you're just getting started podcasting, doing voiceovers, maybe even gaming, and you can do a little bit of EQ and compression, I think that's where it shines its brightest in that it's only $40, it's easy to set up, and gives you a solid voiceover sound. And then from a singing or recording studio perspective, I can't say that I would recommend it to too many people. Unless 
unless you just really want a cheap microphone just to get started, just to get going, and you know you'll upgrade in the future. So that's it for this review of the $40 toner microphone. If you're interested in how I mix a singing vocal or how I mix a talking vocal, well, I have videos about that. I'm gonna put links to those mixing videos in the description of this video. And if you're new, be sure to stick around because one of my next videos is gonna be a complete guide to podcasting for beginners. So this has been Dean signing out from here at the studio and I will catch you in another video.